Okay, this is like day million and seven of being a real estate investor wannabe. Walk around, cool. You see this house? This house that I'm in? Kind of things you can have. Pretty cool, huh? And a little doggy, hello. Not my dog, not my house. I'm doing real estate investing for a while, but it's kind of hard if you don't have basics. No, those are my cars, one of my drive. I actually rented it from a friend. Because I lost my car this year. This is kind of pretty though, huh? So why am I showing you this? My great grandmother used to say, a fool and his money are soon parted. And I've been pursuing this real estate dream off and on for a while. I don't even know what's behind some of these doors, but I'm dog sitting, pet sitting. There I am. So I would say take Dave Ramsey's advice. If you don't have a thousand dollars set aside for emergencies, at least that, don't invest in anything. Don't believe anybody. You gotta have a really special type of personality. You can't have one that's been beat up. And then when you go for the gusto, you try and really put it in hard. Like some of the some of the programs out there are just a mess. They'll have you pushing buttons and stuff and say, hey yeah. That's pretty cool, huh? Look at this. Not mine. <clears throat> so anyway, um, yeah, some of the programs out there, they're really good at selling you on the programs. So um, uh, they'd be worth it if you can get it to happen. But I'm kind of sad. Um, my aunt just passed away and she never got to see me make $100,000 a year. I never did. I never made it. Um, not that that would have married, that would have mattered to her that much, but it's just another person that I didn't get to show, hey, look, I can finally take care of myself. Instead, I'm struggling. I'm probably lucky if I have now in my accounts, add them all up, I probably have less than $70. How about that? So a lot of the dating apps are scams. A lot of the credit things are scams. A lot of the real estate programs, they're good to learn from, but don't buy every single one. Try and find somebody local if you can. Work with local investors. That's helped me to get a few done. But more importantly than that would have been to have either a reserve of money or access to a reserve of money, like if I had good credit, or <clears throat> what would the other thing be? Oh, maybe a steady job, because things can get rough. So anyway, I don't know who needs to hear that, but uh, it can be done, you just have to do it wisely and having times where you just think you're just gonna really just buckle down and get it done, and that you're gonna, oh, there's a cute dog, hi dog. Not mine. You think you can read the read from the good books to help you get going. That's good, action is important, knowledge is important, training is important, all it's important, but you also need to have that emergency 
fund. If you're in America, hopefully you're hearing this. I asked somebody earlier this year, hey, I had about $1,000. Where should I invest it? I said, invest it with them. Uh, if it had worked out, it would have been great. But it didn't work out so far. I mean, it might. But that wasn't wise of me to do that with my emergency fund. That was what I had left over from a real estate investment uh, profit sharing bonus that came back in January 2023 when it finally closed. So I've got some good views. I'm grateful for that. But I've also lost out and helping a lot of people that I wanted to help because they're gone. They left far, they left this earth long before I had a chance to build my empire that I thought I was going to build and be able to help so many people and help those. So be wise, guys. I, I don't know, I just, I kind of wanted to rant, but it's also sad and it's painful. And there's just going to be another one out there trying to buy, buy your attention to buy another program or this product. Uh, there's so many times I've spent money on tools that would be really good for a busy real estate business. But put you behind the eight ball really quickly if you don't have it moving and you can't get it going. So anyway... I don't know, like I said, I don't know if this helps anybody. Maybe it's just semi-cathartic for me. Because I'm kind of pissed. I feel like I was kind of sold to build a, a bill of goods in some ways. I remember back with uh, Carlton Sheets, when that was one of my first ones. Got the tapes, was working on things. Trying to learn it, trying to understand it, trying to find people to work with as partners. And then there was a phone call. I got talking to them, and the guy was trying to sell me some $6,000 program or something or other, and I could have a partner come in with me or some crazy thing. Maybe it was 3000 I don't know. It was a lot of money for me. And um, he told me that only about 3% of the people that ever get the course have any success. 3%. And so they know that. So they know that 97% of us are going to be spending money and not being able to see the benefit. At least for that company, they knew that. And I think about that sometimes. I know a lot of endeavors, people quit or don't have good things happen or, heck, they may die in a car accident a month from now. You don't ever know. You never know. Life's just so unpredictable. But while you're here, try and plan, try and understand, try and spend time with those you love. Try not to be taken. And to the gurus that are so good at selling the programs rather than really helping the people get where they need to be, shame on you guys. Okay? Even some of you really good ones. you just got, gotten so good at the marketing that you forgot what the hell you were doing in the first place. All right. That's just my two cents. <laughs>